Hello and welcome to part two of this C sharp coding homework exercise where we are uh, working with random numbers and arrays and performing calculations against that, against those numbers. So um, in previous part we created our arrays, we populated them with zero, we are uh, now uh, uh, generated the random number and now we can uh, we can send them to our we can send those numbers to the uh, to our function called add numbers array where we will assign a number to our uh, positive numbers or negative numbers depending on whether it's positive or negative now this is gonna be for each number it, this is all within for loop of our populate with random numbers uh, function so uh, within after we determine that the number is not zero because if it is that it will keep uh, generating a new number until it is not zero because we do not accept zeros as an input so once it is not zero we assign we decide whether it's positive or negative and then we will send it again and we will send that number to uh, the array and then we'll go back to our for loop uh, for the next iteration and perform uh, as many iteration as the user entered in the and are stored in the n variable all right so this is our let's create our function called uh, add add number to array i'm gonna copy it so it's gonna be private static void add number to array and it exp ex expects the integer which is the number to add to the array that's the actual number generated the random number and also we will we are passing the boolean to decide or that determines whether it's positive or uh, negative if it sends true then it's a positive if it sends false then it's a negative so positive number i'll call it boolean positive number just like it is being passed so in our for loop integer i equals zero i is less than uh, n i plus plus and within it now we decide whether it's a positive or negative so basically not decide but we go to an if statement and uh, determine if the value passed is positive or negative so if the argument positive number if it's true then it's a positive num positive number right so uh, if it's a positive number now we can add it to our positive uh, numbers array now by default all numbers in the in both those arrays negative numbers and positive numbers are zero we populated them with zero so how do you know which one to uh, you know where to add it we don't know that because uh, let's say if, we, if user enters like, let's look at this example if the user enters uh, five numbers uh, and it's generated as negative two three five negative five and uh, a negative two then we have two positive numbers and three negative numbers so basically the index is not gonna be exactly the same so uh, what how we can determine where to send it like see like this one has two numbers the positive the negative has three numbers we can check whether the number is zero because remember we do not accept zero as a as an input so if it's a zero then it's the original number that the array was populated with so we can do if our positive numbers we are doing with positive numbers uh, array if that index equals zero basically it's, if it was not populated with a random number yet then we can add this number there positive numbers i equals number to add that's what we pass in as the argument and once we add it we don't want to keep looping and keep adding it because there might be you know we would add all the the same number multiple times every time the index that was not populated yet would be encountered so 
it will simply return out of the or exit out of the whole uh, function and we'll do the same uh, over here so if it's a negative number in other words else we will do the same thing if the uh, negative numbers of i equals zero then we can populate it so with negative numbers of i equals the number to add and again we will return once we add the number we return and we basically return back to our for loop in the populate with uh, random numbers to generate another random number and send it back to the uh, send it to the one of the arrays okay so uh, again we are calling the function within our for loop so with one number at a time that number is being added and uh, we are uh, also sending as an argument whether it's positive or negative if within our for loop if it's a positive number then we'll come to our if statement here and if we encounter let's say the index zero is not uh, zero let's say the number was another number was already added to it then we'll simply go to another iteration we'll come back to it because it's still a positive number it doesn't change and we will loop until there is a, a room uh, uh, or an index to enter that number to and the same with negative numbers if the, if the positive number boolean is false then we'll do the same but we do it uh, for the negative numbers array okay so um, that populates our arrays with the uh, uh, with the random numbers so now we can uh, we can output uh, the numbers that we have this is our positive we have three lines of output positive numbers negative numbers and the sum so let's do uh, the positive numbers first so I'm gonna do output positive and um, I'm just gonna put it right here so it's gonna be the same like before private static it's gonna be void because we are just outputting so we will do output positive oh, this I need a space here private static and we'll simply uh, do a loop to output uh, the numbers so we will do our console that write and like what they have here positive numbers and then it says five of them or whatever the n number is so console that write line is going to be positive numbers and then in the parentheses it will say how many numbers there are and it you know that's basically not just how many positive numbers <coughs> were entered but all the numbers basically the number n uh, but it says positive numbers five which is three and five and then zero 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 where the original zeros that were populated uh, in the array so uh, so the positive numbers and it's say uh, like five or whatever uh, of them in parentheses and we will output how many that we the user wanted to enter which is the n and uh, now we can output those numbers remember we are using console.write instead of console.write line so this is gonna be all in one line and we can do a for each loop uh, for each and with the value that we are putting in um, from the positive numbers array and we will output the console.write and we will output the value and a comma so they're separated by comma so it basically say positive numbers five of them are and then it will output the three five and then the zeros from uh, the original originally populated array so that's all we can do now after all that after this line we can do console that right line or just an empty so we can move to another line because this was just the positive numbers now let's do the output negative 
negative numbers. And I'm gonna just copy paste this because it's gonna be very similar. So, but this one will be output negative. So this one will say negative numbers and how many of them and we are looping through negative numbers array. But other, other than that, everything stays the same. And now we have to output the position sum, which is the indexes, like index zero in both the sum of that, uh, make the sum of three and negative two, which is one, then sum of uh, index number one, which is five and negative five, which is zero together and so forth. So I'm going to create a function called output sum and I'm gonna do private static void output sum and to output the sum uh, let's first output the text itself so uh, console that again just the right not the right line because everything is in one line position sum of numbers and then we will output the all the the, the sum of those numbers so it's gonna be through for loop through uh, integer i equals zero i is less than n i plus plus and in it we basically uh, Since uh, we, we entered, let's say, five numbers, so each in, uh, array has five indexes, but we don't want to output the zeros. Like, uh, let's say, uh, like we want to output this one because zero uh, index number zero, one, two of positive numbers is zero. That's okay because the negative numbers has an num index number three uh, populated with the random number. So zero minus two is negative two. But let's say indexes number four on both are zeros, and so are indexes uh, uh, number five. I mean three and uh, four because there's five numbers together. But uh, so we're gonna check if both those uh, numbers that we are checking are zeros. Then we know we at the end of the calculations we don't have to output that anymore. Or we shouldn't. Otherwise, we will have just a bunch of zeros uh, line up. So if are positive numbers of the i that doesn't equal zero or if the negative if one of those numbers is not zero negative number or the positive number then we can uh, do the sum otherwise we're not gonna output anything at all so we will do console dot write and we will we will simply do the calculation right in the console dot write uh, so it's going to be positive numbers of i plus negative numbers of i. And we will add a comma, so they separated by comma and a space. Just like that. And after the for loop, again, I'm going to do console dot right line and add an empty line. So when it says, at the end, it will say, you know, press enter. Uh, to exit the program or something like that. So it's not all on the same line. This will be on the next line. All right, so again, if uh, one of those numbers in the calculation is not zero, then it's a valid calculation. If they both are zeros, then we are at the end of the arrays and we are simply having them uh, populated with zeros from the, from the first step in our program, which was to populate them by default with zeros. All right, let's run it. So let's enter random numbers, let's say five. All right, so I have two of those numbers were positive, 11 and 42. Three of them were negative, 51, 46, and 78. And the sum 11 minus 51 is negative 40, that's correct. 42 minus 46 is negative four, that's correct and zero minus 78 is negative 78. Again, this, this zero is the original zero 
that it was there, but there's only five numbers, so you cannot have, uh, you know, the same numbers populated in both arrays because it's an uh, odd number. But even if it's an even number, it's random. You can have, in fact, you can have all the numbers randomly be positive or negative. So that's the thing. That's uh, by random numbers. You don't know how many you're gonna get in any of these arrays. So let's try it one more time. This time, let's do uh, let's do ten random numbers, and we have one, two, three, four positive generated, and one, two, three, four, five, six negative. So let's see, twenty-six minus seventeen, it's positive nine, correct? Ninety-three minus fifteen is seventy-eight. Fifty-seven minus fifty-one is six. Ninety-two, ninety-four minus forty-two uh, is fifty-two. That's correct. And 0 minus negative 93 is negative 93. And 0 minus negative 69 is negative 69. So that is correct. So I think the program is working fine. All right, so this is the exercise. Uh, this really is all, just a bunch of uh, functions. First, we populate the arrays with 0, then with random numbers. Depending whether it's positive or negative, we add it to the appropriate array. And then we'll simply output uh, both of those arrays. And we calculate the indexes, the corresponding indexes with both of those arrays. Alright, so uh, this is it. If you liked it, please leave a like, leave a comment, share with your friends. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.